The Middle East has been on the brink of chaos for years, but yesterday, things escalated dramatically when Iran fired ballistic missiles at Israel, sparking fears of a larger conflict. As tensions rise, the world watches anxiously. But what if this war doesn't stay limited to just two countries? In this video, we'll explore 10 nations that might join Iran, shaping this into a global crisis. Hello friends, welcome to Travelpedia. If you are new to our channel then subscribe to us right now. Number 1, Syria. Syria is Iran's closest ally in the region, with both countries deeply intertwined through military and political cooperation. Iran has supported the Assad regime during the Syrian civil war, while Israel has conducted airstrikes against Iranian forces in Syria. If the conflict expands, Syria could quickly become a frontline supporter, especially with its ongoing reliance on Iranian military aid. Syria also views Israel as a direct regional threat, which could push it further toward supporting Iran. Number 2, Lebanon. Lebanon's Hezbollah is essentially an extension of Iran's military strategy. Funded and armed by Iran, Hezbollah has clashed with Israel for decades. With Israel already targeting Hezbollah leaders, Lebanon might officially join the fight if Iran calls upon its proxy, drawing the small but powerful group deeper into the conflict against Israel. Hezbollah's ability to mobilize quickly and its proximity to Israel make it a key player if tensions flare further. Number 3, Iraq. While Iraq is divided, pro-Iran militias like the Popular Mobilization Forces wield significant power. These militias have received training, weapons, and funding from Iran. If Iraq's government allows, or cannot stop, these groups from acting, Iraq could become a battleground once again, supporting Iranian interests against Israel. The Iraqi government's delicate balance between its US relations and Iranian influence makes its position unpredictable but significant. Number 4, Russia. Russia has been a strategic partner to Iran in the Middle East, particularly in Syria. Though careful about involving itself in direct conflict, Russia has repeatedly opposed Israel's attacks on Iranian forces. With tensions rising, Moscow could provide behind-the-scenes support, supplying weapons or intelligence to Iran, while maintaining its presence as a power broker. Russia's broader geopolitical goal of countering U.S. influence also aligns with supporting Iran indirectly. Number 5, China. China's growing energy reliance on Iran could push it into a supportive stance. Beijing has invested heavily in Iran's oil and gas sectors, providing an economic buffer against Western sanctions. Though China would likely avoid military involvement, it might support Iran diplomatically and through arms trade, creating economic leverage against Israel's Western allies. As one of the few major powers to maintain strong ties with both Iran and Israel, China could play a dual role in this conflict. Number 6, Turkey. Turkey has a complicated relationship with both Israel and Iran. While the nation is a NATO member, it has clashed with Israel in the past over Gaza. Recently, Turkey has developed stronger ties with Iran. If tensions in the region spread, Turkey might join the fray, aiming to reshape the regional power balance in its favor. However, Turkey's internal political dynamics could make its position more fluid as the conflict evolves. Number 7, Yemen. The Houthi rebels in Yemen are another key Iranian proxy. They've been receiving military support from Tehran for years in their fight against Saudi-led forces. If war escalates between Iran and Israel, the Houthis could increase missile strikes effectively joining the conflict. Their willingness to enter the war could heighten tensions. Number 8, Pakistan. Pakistan shares a border with Iran and has a complicated relationship with the Middle East's shifting alliances. While it balances its ties with Saudi Arabia, it also has deep connections with Iran, especially concerning Afghanistan. If the conflict spreads, Pakistan might find itself drawn into the equation, particularly if its strategic interests or borders are threatened. Additionally, Pakistan's diplomatic history with Israel could complicate its potential involvement. Number 9, Qatar. Qatar has maintained a delicate balance between Iran and Western countries. Though it hosts U.S. military bases, it shares a gas field with Iran and has been open to maintaining friendly relations with Tehran. If the war escalates, Qatar could use its diplomatic sway to align more with Iran, potentially offering economic and strategic support. Qatar's history of playing mediator in regional disputes gives it a unique position in this conflict. 
Number 10, North Korea. North Korea has long been an outlier, with limited international alliances. However, it has cooperated with Iran on missile technology and military hardware. Though direct military involvement seems unlikely, North Korea could quietly provide arms, technology, or intelligence to Iran, tipping the scales against Israel and its Western backers. This covert support would strengthen Iran's capacity without drawing North Korea directly into the fray. As this crisis unfolds, the global stage is set for a war that could draw in more nations than anyone expects, stay tuned to see how it all plays out. Also, if you have liked this video then do not forget to like it below and comment down which country you think will jump into the war. For more such interesting content regularly, subscribe to Travelpedia right now. Thank you.